What's up? I hope you're doing well. I'm so excited because today I'm going to go pick up a vintage sideboard that I found on Facebook Marketplace. I have been looking for one for the longest time and I think this one satisfies the criteria that I have for it. I'm going to put it in the living room and I'm going to use it to hide this ugly thing that I have. I'll share more about it later, but I'm excited. It's going to be a two and a half hour drive. Maybe I'm crazy, but honestly, two and a half hour drives are not that much for me. And of course, you know, I'm going to hit up some thrift stores because I love thrift shopping. It's Sunday, so we'll see what's open. And also, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jorge or George. I love all things home decor, thrift shopping, vintage shopping. And if you're into that, subscribe. And yeah, let's head on over and see where this day takes us. Okay, so I got the sideboard loaded up. I'll show you a little bit later. For now, let's go thrift shopping. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That's right, how about this brown vase right here? Definitely handmade, as you can see from the bottom. It has this sort of medium to dark brown glazing over it just five dollars i think this is a really great deal for a vase like this especially something handmade i also spotted this other vase right here it kind of has like a whitewash on it and it has sort of this like wicker i guess holder you can call it something about this kind of intrigued me but i ended up not getting this because i just feel like the wicker was just a little bit too much comment and let me know if you agree I really appreciate it when thrift stores kind of categorize decor by color. I think it's a visually interesting way of shopping. Speaking of visually interesting, look at this little vase right here. Just $1 solid wood, you all. Solid wood. I had to get it. Since we're already here, let me ask you an important question. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Yes, that's right. Anyways, I also spotted this little guy right here. Just $3 for another handmade vase. This one would pair really well with that first one I showed you. Look at these colors, just exquisite. Also, notice this larger vase with two handles, just $10. To think about this, um, just didn't connect with me and I passed up on it, but definitely good DIY potential. What are your thoughts on this vase right here? Another handmade one, but this one's more of an organic feel. Would you buy this or would you pass on this? Seriously, how cute is this little seal? Not for my house, but still cute. Now, you know that design rule of one, three, or fives, or basically just odds? Well, I feel like this is would come into play because this candle holder with four looks really odd. Let me know if you agree. I cannot say no to a good bowl. This one is giving me sort of lived in vibes, maybe vintage, primitive. Also, I'm obsessed with this like modern form to it. Into my cart it goes. Unfortunately, there wasn't any good furniture. I saw this dresser, but I had to say no on it. It just wasn't for me. Let's not forget about the book section because you can often find large scale books at an affordable price. I always just look at the spines here. As you can see, I'm looking for those like neutral colors, maybe black, beige, white, all of those. I'm not too concerned about the cover because I can easily remove that later. Also, I'm making sure that the books are somewhat interesting. Even though I might not necessarily read them, I want to make sure that they're not boring either. The good news is that there's another thrift store right next door. The bad news is that it is closed because it's Sunday. I kind of creeped through the window just to see what I missed out on and I actually saw some pretty interesting things but it's closed and maybe next time. Okay so so sad this one is actually closed um, but I found a couple of good treasures at Goodwill and then I checked there's another local thrift store that I think is open so let's head on over there and see if we can find something cool. Thank you. 
so I've never been to this thrift store before and it's actually quite large um, but honestly I didn't really find that much I did see this vase right here just 300 not 300 three dollars and fifty cents or something like that so I definitely put it in my cart also just looked through the rest of the vases nothing looked through the metal section nothing looked through this like section nothing although i did see some um candle holders and i think a little vase made out of wood to be honest i actually forgot to add these to my cart which is often the case when i'm filming um i cannot tell you how many awesome things that i have kind of just left behind just because i'm like filming something um but it is what it is Hey, this little fireplace would be nice, especially for maybe a rental or any space that you can't really add a real fire. Definitely gives me a sort of like country cottage vibe or something like that. Empire style lampshades are back everybody. And I found this one for $3, so of course I put it in my cart. Also, I found this sign that literally describes my life. And lastly, do not be afraid of some ugly art. Yes, there is lots of it out there, but you can use the frames, especially those larger scale frames, save some money and make your own art. Unfortunately, there wasn't anything good. I only picked up like three things. All the other stores are closed and there were some good ones at Sunday though. So I'm gonna go grab some food and then we can head on home and we can do a little haul. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am about this vintage sideboard. Now it's two days later. Yesterday I spent a good amount of time kind of taking it apart, doing some surgery to it per se, because um, there was a little bit of an issue. So let's talk about this for a second. Let's take a look at the beautiful design. Okay, the design of it, absolutely stunning. The hardware really sold me. I think it's nice. It's brass. It has sort of this nice patina to it that I like. And like just the profile of this, the silhouette, the detailing of the wood, the front panel, the molding. I love it. Even the color. This wasn't the color that I was going for in my living room. Um, but I'm going to make it work. And I don't dare paint this black because I was going to do that originally. But do you think I should paint this black? Or should I just leave it as is? I think it's beautiful as is. What is going to go inside, you ask? Well, I don't know if you're familiar, but a few years ago, actually a good amount of years ago, not that long, there is these old, uh, what is they called? Sound systems where you like put, what are they called? I can't, for the life of me, I cannot remember. But this beast that we have right here is a five CD player. You can put the cassettes and all of that stuff. Um, yeah, it's hideous. I understand it's horrible, but it has to stay not my choice. Trust me So what better way than to hide it in a credenza? So that is my tip for you That's the tip for you today. If you have something Hideous an electronic piece that is hideous put it inside a sideboard. Okay, so I actually had to kind of take it apart from the back It took me quite a while because I had to sort of reconfigure with the drawers and all that it was it was a drama but I made it work. Here it is. It fits and I love it and I'm excited to be closer to getting that living room that, I, that I've been working on for a while. I'm happy. I just want to give it a hug, honestly. Since we're here already, let's do a little haul of some of the things that I picked up at the thrift stores. Now the first item is this wooden mortar and pestle. How beautiful is this? Raw wood. It appears to be hand carved and I always love finding pieces that 
feel handmade or are handmade. And this certainly is a nice piece right here. I think this could look nice on top of some books, um, what have you. I don't know if I would actually use this for wood or for wood, for food, but nonetheless, I think it's beautiful. Now lately I've been keeping an eye out for vintage glassware. I really like sort of finding those sets that feel very just unique and different. And everything today, it seems like it's just clear glass, which is, there's nothing wrong with, but I feel like it's sometimes nice finding something different. And I found this set of six glasses right here. Now these are in an amber glass color. Really nice, they really dance in the light, um, or the, with the lighting, I don't know what I'm saying, but I think this could look really nice, just on a nice, like, especially as we're moving into autumn, uh, really just bring in sort of warmer colors. And I think glassware is a really nice way to do that without going overboard. I personally keep it simple when it comes to autumn. Maybe I should do an autumn video before it's like winter because I feel like things are going by so fast, but I like to keep things simple. And I think something like this is a nice way to sort of bring in the warmth of the season. So I found a couple of vases. Now, this right here, I found these these do appear to be handmade um, vases, ceramic. I think they're glazed in sort of this like medium brown, dark brown color. Uh, they're not part of the set, but I think they group well together. Now, when I was over in, by the way, I was in Lewiston, Idaho, if you've ever heard of it. I kind of just, when I go out for road trips, which I love doing sometimes, I like to do a little bit of photo shoots. So I had a little bit of fun, did a little photo shoot with these. Uh, cuties right here. Maybe I'll put some photos, but I think these could be look really nice just by themselves on a shelf You know wherever you put things pretty much everything that I buy. It's like I'm always saying on a shelf on a coffee table I mean, where else do you put it? Give me more ideas Also found this nice little vase right here made out of wood could look nice with just a single flower or just by itself could be nice in a little grouping of sorts. Also found this nice little modern vase right here made out of colored glass, stained glass perhaps. No, colored glass. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know if you've heard of the artist Chihuly. He is from the Seattle area, which I lived for a little bit, actually a few years. And he had, um, I think he has a couple of art exhibits or museums or whatever, but I went to the one in Seattle and it kind of just, this reminds me of something that I would see from sort of the gift shop there. Very neat. I don't know how I feel about this next piece. This face right here kind of freaks me out, but I think it's kind of cool. Handmade um, ceramic right here, tall vase, and there is sort of this like detail, I don't know if you can see here on the camera, that kind of has this organic quality to it that kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, just something from like a sci-fi film, maybe some weird reptile or I don't know, it's weird. Kind of freaks me out, but at the same time, it's kind of nice and sculptural. If you're into this kind of stuff, I think this, this something like this could be nice. I don't know. I also want to mention that this is an official announcement, but I do plan on maybe having an online shop. So I am sourcing pieces for my big collection for that. So if you're wondering why I have so much stuff, like what do I do with all this stuff? Don't worry. I have um, plans for it. Also picked up this modern vase right here. I haven't seen anything like this and I don't know if I showed this before or not because I actually picked this up a little bit ago. I didn't get this from this recent trip, but how nice would this look with some fresh cut flowers or even just like by itself. I think it can make a nice sort of sculptural statement. And when you decorate with just clear glass, especially when you find pieces that have a really nice um, form that you can just sort of use to layer on maybe a bookcase or things like that, where you have like a lot of space to decorate, but you don't want to add so much clutter. I think using clear glass could be a good solution for that. And so I, this is something that I'm adding to my built-in right here that I will show you in the living room video when that comes out. Also picked up this really cool vase right here. This is maybe a Native American wedding vase, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I do know that just like this form in general is, um, I've seen in Mexican pottery. I know that there's also like a wedding vase. I think this is beautiful. I will say this appears to be like a mass produced vase where um, probably they kind of just like slapped a print over this. It's not something that appears to be handmade. Um, nonetheless, I think it's cool. Really cool terracotta color and yeah. Now this might be my favorite find other than the sideboard and that is this right here. Can you guess what it is? 
Here's a hint. That's right, it's an Ikebana vase with the floral frog that goes in the center. Very neat. If you're not familiar with an Ikebana vase, um, well, I've been collecting them for some time now here um, in my thrift visits and I've been starting to build up a collection. This one's my favorite. I believe this is solid bronze. And you know, with an Ikebana vase derived from Japanese tradition, it's a beautiful way of putting together like a flower arrangement. Very minimalistic, very expressive, the sculptural, and just elegant in general. And this prompted me um, to go out to go to go out and buy some fresh flowers from a local um, garden. And I kind of put together a little arrangement. Maybe I'll put a photo here. How neat is this? This is a true testament as to why I go thrift shopping. I really like finding pieces that are unique, that are different. Um, and along the journey, of course, I will find pieces that probably were mass produced at some point, but have now become vintage and are more rare, I would say. And this beauty right here can really sort of add sort of this dimension of time to a space that makes it more interesting than going out and buying the latest mass-produced piece, which there's nothing wrong with. I love that too. But beautiful. Um, I'm excited about this piece. Sorry, I had to change out the battery. But this wouldn't be a Jorge thrift haul without some brass candlesticks. And I found these right here. Can't stop, won't stop buying these. I'm just obsessed. They're just so cool. This candelabra is very neat. And as you can see, it has this awesome... Uh, etching to it just throughout the entire thing very neat also this little cutie right here with the handle i built up a collection of these i think these might be my favorite also found a pair of these uh, i guess more common i would say and i believe these are also solid brass i've gotten some questions as how you can tell if something is solid brass or not and i think i might have read this in art digest but you can take a magnet to it because brass is not magnetic so if you were to put it up to it it should not um, attached to the magnet that's a good indicator also you can just take a look at the bottom if you're seeing some like silver especially like where it gets screwed in chances are it's not um, solid brass it might be brass plated but that's a couple of ways you can maybe check also I've gotten questions to how I clean them clean them. I said that weird clean them um, I will just bring them home and just give them a good wipe down or just wash them with some hot water and soap and then just a sponge using the soft side. If they're very grimy, which by the way, I like the patina of these. That's why I like going thrift shopping for these because they've just have aged. They're imperfect, that's beautiful. But I will get some barkeeper's friend if they're really bad and kind of just give them a good clean. That will That will remove a lot of the grime that has built up over the years and also um, bring back a little bit of that shine that we want. It won't polish it, but it will make it a lot nicer. Um, but this is what it looks like after I clean them up. Crap, dropping things. I also found this wooden bowl right here and I actually like the worn in look of it. I think it makes it feel um, just a little bit more primitive, I would say, just vintage, antique, like old. Also, the concavity of this, I think bowls like this are very attractive as opposed to bowls that are just more like a bowl. I don't know, really weird thing, but pretty cool. And lastly, I found this book right here. I'm always keeping an eye out for some good coffee table books or just books for decor purposes, but making sure that they're also interesting to read. And this one is a celebrity cookbook for a cure. I think it's called Star Palette. I think it's just a whole bunch of recipes by different um, celebrities. We've got Harry Connick Jr. We got Joan Rivers. We got Britney Spears, Dr. Phil. We got everybody here. Very cool. The cover, not so attractive. So if we remove it, we are exposed with this nice hardback. Um, this one's a taupe color, has this texture. Feels really nice on the hands. Um, 
course this looks great with, you know, everything that I'm going for. I feel like I get a lot of neutrals. That's my jam, neutrals, honestly. Thank you so much for sticking around. I had lots of fun. I can literally go thrift shopping all day, every day. It's fun. It's been a passion of mine for years and I think I found some goodies today, including this amazing credenza that I am obsessed with. Let me know what your favorite piece is or also let me know what it's like in your area. Do you have good thrift stores or do they suck? Because I know that some stores just don't have the best selections. Just curious, let me know down below or if you even have thrift stores because I know they're not a thing in some places. But I hope that you have an amazing day. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, all that great stuff. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.